absolutely wonderful season. Um, one of the most successful in our history as a soccer program. Um, you know, we started soccer back in 2011 um, with a team that struggled just with fundamentals. And so for us to be able to hear just shows how hard um, the girls have worked um, to get us to this point. Um, we've had a great freshman class move up, um, but this team that has um, the majority of this team, the senior class, this is their third state semifinals in four years. Um, so they understand what it takes to get us to this point. They really have led us uh, more than anything, not just this past year, but over these past four years. And so it's been really a pleasure to be their coach here um, these past four years and to see them grow and develop, not only as uh, players and understanding the game of soccer, but just as individuals um, and how they have grown together, um, but grown up. Uh, around this and just really lifted each other up. You know, we preach um, that we can accomplish more together than we could ever accomplish by ourselves. And that's something that we strive to do every single day in each game uh, that we go out there, whether it's um, the first game of the season or it's the state championship. And so our goal is to continue to do that here um, this upcoming season. And, and like our captains reiterated, uh, it doesn't matter if you're on the sideline and you play all 80 games, you're an important part of this team and, and our success is vital to, to what we are able to achieve uh, as a team. Uh, I've kind of watched Kerrville over the past three or four years just to kind of see this success. Um, you know, they've unfortunately run up to a, a team, Austin Veritas, that has had three state championships in four years. Um, so it's always tough to play an opponent that uh, just seems to be uh, light years ahead of everybody it seems like. They have always played a tough team um, and a tough district. Uh, we have played uh, awesome teams in the past couple years um, in playoffs and they have always been very tough and so I expect nothing less from a Kerrville team that has had success over the past three or four years and is obviously hungry for their shot at a state championship and so uh, we need to know uh, that coming into this game that we have to be um, hungry and have 100% effort really making sure that we are uh, ready to, to step on that field whenever that is and, uh, and be prepared to, to play our game and up to our abilities and to do this together more than anything. So at the beginning of the season, uh, we kind of set out our goals for this year and I think for the first time uh, the girls really started to believe that this was an opportunity for us this year. We didn't quite know what that was going to look like. Um, we played some very tough teams early on and had some early success. Uh, but we also have a tough district as well, and uh, you can see that in the standings that there were games that um, first through fourth, fourth place and even fifth place, there was tough teams um, and there were tough games, and we uh, really made sure that we had to stick together more than anything. That there are ups and downs, there are ebbs and flows to this season, uh, and know that uh, one game will not define us more than anything, but knowing that when we look at the entirety of the season, and looking to where we've been uh, and what has brought us here to this point, it really has come down to our effort uh, as a team and our ability to come together uh, more than anything and to be able to stick together when it gets tough, uh, that we have a tendency to uh, put our heads down and become individuals, uh, and that's a society thing more than anything. Uh, but recognizing that we can lean against each other and lean on each other uh, and trust each other that when things do get difficult, that we're able to rise above any challenge that ourselves, individually, would be tough to handle, but as a team, we can handle together.